everybody, this is Praxis. I'm on site this morning and we actually are getting our dirt delivery for going around this foundation. Uh, I guess they finally get the truck repaired again uh, and they're bringing it up. I just discussed with the driver that we'd like to have it dumped yeah, right in the front here and I got the whole area all cleared for that. And uh, you know, the point of getting it nice and close is because it's gonna be shovel work from here. Uh, the, uh, the scarfs that we had around the, uh, the scarfs that we had around the, uh, uh, foundation have worked pretty well. As you can see, the, the dirt around here, it's pretty hard. It's just uh, ice right under the surface. Uh, but over here, under the scarves, you know, still totally good. So he's going to come right up over here, add a little bit more dirt that's not frozen, and I'm just going to kind of shovel it around and uh, we'll get it as close as we can. A little more there. Uh, I, I, uh, I, I guess as close more. as you can get, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, that's looking good. Oh, beautiful. You can have it slide out from under as opposed to over, right? Yeah, uh, I'll latch the bottom of the, uh, this gate right here. And okay, okay, yeah. So. That, that, that looks great then, thanks. This is a sandy bank road? Yes, it is. Okay. Oh, yeah, we got the same shovel, huh? Yeah. Yeah. These, these are decent because the metal goes pretty high up into the shaft. Oh, they're strong as hell, too. Yeah. I'm always, I'm always like, using them as a pry bar, and I'm worried about breaking them. You know, well, not this particular one, but other ones that have been crappy. I mean, I've had nothing but luck with these things. Yeah, I, I, these seem like they're going to hold up for a while. Now, what's this? Is this some kind of a hot tub or something? Uh, yeah. Uh, it's uh, going to be a shed. Uh, okay. We, in order to do the house the way we wanted it, with a wood stove and everything, uh, we had to do a lot of things like solar panels and solar hot water panels. Oh, okay. In order to even move in, which is kind of irritating to me because I, I like got to do all this crazy. I, I mean, I wanted to do that stuff anyway, um, but I didn't necessarily want to build it all before I was allowed to move into the house. Right, exactly. Uh, so um, I needed a place to put solar hot water panels because uh, they just weren't going to work up on the roof. And I was thinking, you know, if I'm going to build a whole scaffolding, I might as well put a shed under it. So. Right, right. And what's, what's that over there? With, um... Oh, and that's a root cellar over there, which has been working pretty well, actually. I, I mentioned the spray foam for the side of this thing. Uh, I've been storing it in the root cellar. Uh, it keeps things cool in the summertime, but warm in the wintertime. It keeps it like a constant 50 degrees or so. Oh, that's clever. Yeah, that's yeah. Really good. It's the most expensive refrigerator that I've ever bought, but it runs <laughs> for free. Yeah, but it's, it's a great idea. I'll pull up a little so I don't um, totally bury your arm. Um, oh, that's tarp. cool, yeah. And we got a little bit stuck at the top. We still got a little clinging to life up there. Awesome. Oh, there's just a little tap right there, my friend. Cool, cool. Well, thanks for the delivery. I appreciate it. Yeah, I hope that's going to be enough for you there. Uh, yeah, I mean, it should, it should be enough to get us going anyway. 